Welcome to my series, Who's Who in the Nativity Story. We're going to walk through some very notable characters from the Nativity Story. And today we're talking about Elizabeth, the wife of Zachariah. So Elizabeth and Zachariah lived together in the Judean hillside. And there they lived in a small town and they had a tremendously, you know, traditional life a life that included focusing on faith and family and uh, the community there. Elizabeth was older, but her entire marriage she had prayed for a child. She really wanted to have a child. And to not have a child in this time and place would have been seen as sort of a, a, a negative thing. Uh, it, your infertility would be on display, if you will. And she prayed to God on a regular basis to be blessed with the child. And the fact is that uh, at that time, Zachariah, her husband, could have even divorced her for her infertility and moved on to a woman who was more fertile. But that's not what Zachariah chose to do because he's a great guy and he loved his wife, so he chose to stay in the marriage with her. Now, at one point they go to Jerusalem where Zachariah is serving in the temple and their entire life changes because when he comes out of the temple, Elizabeth realizes that he's had kind of a, a heavenly encounter, if you will. Uh, but he's mute, he can't talk, he can't tell her what it is. <laughs> Somehow he conveys to her that he saw an angel and the angel said that they were going to conceive a child who would be John the Baptist. I'm certain that Elizabeth was very surprised by this news, but nevertheless, they go back to their home in the hillside there and she conceives a child naturally with Zachariah. Now she's old, older, beyond conception, the age of conception. So this is fully a miracle from God that they've been gifted this child. And for the first five or six months, she stays kind of to herself in their home, probably thinking about what this means and also trying to be mindful of her pregnancy, wanting to be careful about it. Um, but she does end up having the child and Zachariah and Elizabeth both agree on what to name him and his name is John. So this is very much a promise that was fulfilled uh, as we see that she does have the child and um, they raise John uh, to be their son. Uh, and I love this story about Elizabeth because she is an obedient wife, she's an obedient mother, she loves her husband, it's this tight couple who have navigated a lot in their life already. They're very faithful people uh, and their faith in God uh, ends up providing them with uh, a son who they've always wanted, who always wanted to have. Here's something else about Elizabeth that's important and it's this, she is related to Mary the mother of Jesus. The text tells us that they're related. We don't exactly know how they're related. Most people think of it as their cousins, but I kind of think it's probably more an aunt and a niece relationship because Mary's very, very young, 15 or so, and Elizabeth is past the age of childbearing. So to me, it seems to make more sense that they might be related that way. Uh, and we know the story of how Mary comes to see Elizabeth after Gabriel tells Mary, you're gonna conceive a child through the Holy Spirit. And by the way, your relative is already with child and that is Elizabeth. So we get this meeting together of Elizabeth and Mary that's very joyful. They're both with child and they're just, you know, so happy about that. And for Elizabeth, her son, who is six months in, the, in utero, leaps with joy at seeing Mary and knowing that Mary is pregnant with Jesus. So it's this beautiful, beautiful imagery of these two women together, very much appreciating the gift from God and the miracle that they are going to have with these children. Um, Elizabeth, to me, feels like a woman who very much cared about 
uh, having a child and very much cared about her relationship with God and her relationship with her husband. And I like Elizabeth for the fact that she plays this important role, but stays obedient and also prayerful through the whole thing. So that's Elizabeth.